In this short video, I'm going to show you how to set up an if-then formula in Excel. So we are looking at how to set up an if-then formula in Excel. And so to do this, all we need to actually do is use the if function, which I know I have covered before in previous videos, but it is a very useful function, so it's worth going over again. So with the if function, the first argument we have is our logical test. If our logical test is true, then we can set a value to return. And if it's false, we can set a different value to return. So what I'm gonna do in this example is check to see if the score is greater than or equal to 80. If it is, we're gonna return pass. If it's not, we're going to return fail. So I'm gonna select this cell. I'm gonna type equals on my keyboard, if. And then I'm gonna press tab to enter the function. So my logical test is, is this cell greater than or equal to 80? If it is, then in quotations, we're going to return pass. If it's not, in quotation marks, we're going to return fail. So then I press enter on my keyboard and copy and paste this down. And that is how to set up an if-then formula in Excel.